What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG, and I'm welcoming you back to another YouTube video. And today we're covering the big fiery light. Hey, my message went off at the same time. That was pretty cool. It's like an idea popped in my head as I thought. Okay, no, let's 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 chit chat. Today we're gonna be playing with the old Chandelier V Max, trying to do that nice big big damage, which is the Max Poltergeist attack, which is 70 for each training card in your opponent's hand. And has a little nice touch with its ability, preventing tools from being played. So we're going to be looking at that today and comboing it with nine tails, just to give it that freedom to move around, use some escape ropes and stuff. And, you know, almost like a soft Guzma, which is pretty cool um, in this deck. So I wanted to try out the new nine tails and see how it does kind of on its own with this type of uh, deck. Now, of course, before we do go any further and I look for a game, do check out the sponsor for today's video, ptcgostore.com. Use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout to grab yourself some cheeky Fusion Strike codes so you can build this very deck. All right, let's go. I need to stop that black screen from happening, mate. We need to stop it big time. Uh, all right, we want to go first. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, to the regulars on the channel, I'd love to hear thoughts on the new thumbnail that I'm trying out. I love the idea of putting a face in the thumbnail and all that kind of stuff, but I also really like the idea of you guys just seeing straight what is what is happening, what you're getting. I also quite like that, so I'm a bit torn between the thumbnails. If I want to do my usual stuff with like my face in it and you know that kind of stuff, or go for a bit more of a cleaner look. You know, something that kind of is a bit more eye-catchy. Also, we are playing it with Chromomatic, by the way, uh, which is up for the bait in the, in the PTCG in the PTC, community. Um, but I wanted to just test it out and see see how it all works out. So we're going to definitely try that today for sure. Probably get another Chandelure down, maybe? Maybe another Ninetales? What's, what's that? What are they saying? Dragapult? Um, mm, Dragapult. Yes, we get another Volpix down just in case to try something cheeky. You never know. You never know. All right, we'll, we'll pass. So, one thing I've noticed, and I say this a lot, okay? I know I say this a lot, but I always got to make you guys aware of it, I think, is coming up against decks that aren't really, you know, something that can really give you a good idea or representation of where the deck stands in the format and on the ladder, especially if you are a regular and good player. So I thought, all right, let me just grind the list. I've got a Dragapult list. Um... That I've, that I've made altered from Tord's original list to update it with... I wanted to throw some Chromomatics in there, and it's actually kind of working, which is why I'm testing it here too. Like, Chromomatic and Dragapult can be busted. <laughs> Just getting you that goo that, that Guzma, that bosses orders for game, or even... And it's, it's actually worked for me quite nicely. Instead of, like, a fan of the ways, I've thrown in an Echo Horn. So when you come up against these uh, Inteleon decks, you can just uh, Echo Horn and, you know go throw down a zigzagoon or scoop up zigzagoon and actually take one out that you've already taken out earlier for an extra prize which with chromomatic actually works out quite nicely so i thought hey let's actually go for that oh, we're actually playing i thought it was dragapult playing shadow rider uh which is very interesting kind of we need to see a lot of cards here and the crowbats are uh, really important in this deck so i might crowbat for free here and then just go for research we need um uh, uh, nine tails and we need well two evos to really get the ball rolling so i'm really going to increase the odds here or escape rope chandelier v max anything down that line would be pretty good like to throw that crushing hammer down just slow the opponent that's the idea we play judge okay i know judge what <laughs> don't like the idea of researching here because these are nice cards but oh well yeah i mean your opponent is going to play their cards down they're, they're going to do that no matter what um, against this deck. So any sort of force shuffle draw is kind of a big deal. It really is. Now, I can just retreat and attack, but I kind of want to hit one of the big boys and see what happens here. So let's let's escape rope here and see what they put up. They might put up the Dragapult. I mean, they know what's coming. So if they know it's a KO, they're definitely going to put up the Dragapult. So that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Starting off strong here. Oof. Okay, so we're actually hitting 140. This is the issue with the deck, definitely. The fact that your opponent can play their hand down and the damage to KO things like VMAXs and stuff is not that high. But we're going to just try and be consistent with our damage. As we said, our opponent is going to try their best to play their trainer cards down. Now, the benefit is we are playing a deck that loves to draw and get massive hands. I'm not complaining. <laughs> so, you know. So, yeah, Judge in the deck is pretty good. 
because similar to Marnie, it can kind of force them out of, you know, when they play their hand down and force them to draw cards so we can at least see some more trainers in the hand, um, which is something that has to be put in, uh, you know, bed in mind, is that the word? Thought about? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the right way of saying it. However, they have definitely very much played their, their hand down. Love to just uh, gust an attack, but we need, oh no, I could. I can gust an attack. We can get a chandelier down, attach energy to it, just to get another one ready. And yeah, as bad as this feels, I might just do this. I might just go in and see what we get. Another 140. Numbers are just slightly off, unfortunately. 40 damage short. Oh, I love my team. Goes to show that this is probably better in, a, in an Inteleon list. I wanted to give you something different today. I didn't want to just give you, oh, this Inteleon. I've, I've got decks that play Inteleon coming up. Um, the Inteleon engine, that is. And I don't want to kind of just bombard you with Inteleon engines, you know? It's not my style, man. All right, well, I'm just get rid of another bosses, I'm afraid. But that's fine. Oh, farewell, Bell. I've been testing this. It's good fun. It's really good fun. It's like a mini Raihan if it gets KO'd. Although you only play it once in the game. It's kind of cool. I do like it. I do really like it. So we are definitely getting a KO here, I believe, right? I don't think they're able to fully play their, their hand down, which is interesting. Could get another Crobat to really just build up here. Maybe get the energy attachment, but you know what? I think we're just going to... To be fair, I would like to retreat right now. We get the option to do that, so I'm going to Crobat and hopefully we hit uh, another energy here. We do play two heat energy. I did originally play four, but I wanted to put Raihan in here and see how that worked. Oh yeah, look at that. We can even do a Kramomatic, but what for, you know? What is it good for? All right, we're gonna retreat and hit, so that way, there we are. So we get the KO, which is nice. This is why I wanted to play Ninetales, being able to, you know, if we're in a position where the active is getting hit a lot, we want to be able to kind of retreat into a fresher one and just, again, it's, it's a lot of poke damage this deck. So I thought that would be really good to use, at least. Um, so that's really good. I like that. Lovely. So we've got down a Dragapult. And we have some Crammies here, but I don't really think we need them for anything. I really don't think we need them for anything, to be honest. We'll see. We'll see. So they've got, what is that, a 160 hits, I believe? 190. Oof. All that energy, ah. Oh, damn. Okay. We could Marnie them. They have the training court in hand still. We know that. So we know we're guaranteed 70 damage. Odds of them top decking a bunch of trainers. I think it's quite high because they didn't bench anything. I'd love to be able to like just look at their hand and see what's going on. Let's play Crammy. Let's see what we can get with it. Nothing. Let's play it again. See what we can get with it. Heads? Yeah! Alright, let's look at our deck. We can get anything, which is ridiculous. We can judge them. We could do... Uh, blah, 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 blah. We could Crushing Hammer, but I mean, what's that going to do, eh? It'll reduce their damage, but, you know. I just don't think we need it right now. Do you know what? I actually like the idea of Crushing Hammer. We're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, why not? Because we can... If we hit it, there we go. We can actually... Do you know what? I'm going to Marnie here. I want to try and see if we can mill them down a little bit, force them to use um, Underworld Door, and therefore draw more cards. Could work in our favor, so I'm actually going to do that. Heads again. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Force them into using it. That's good. I like that. Max Portal, guys, what are we hitting? All right. 140 again. Oh, wait, what? I swear I saw another trainer in there. Oh, well, here's what it is. They can Underworld Door. They have to, to attack this turn. So that'd be interesting to see. Go for it, mate. Interesting, this deck usually works well with training courts. So I'm wondering why they're playing these, like, Rose Tower in a Shadow Rider deck? That doesn't seem good. Old Cemetery makes some sense, but Rose Tower? I mean, the whole idea of the deck is just to draw, like, mad. Attach energy, draw big hands, you know. Might have to go for another Marnie again in the hopes that they... Yeah, we're going to have to Marnie again just to really hope we hit it. Even a Judge. I don't like judging right now. 
Might as well play Marnie, right? Gives us up more stuff. Judge also improves the odds of them top decking trainers because it's all from top of the deck. They don't redraw stuff that we've shuffled in just in case. I'm going to throw another power bell down. Do I do that? Yeah, let's do that. And imagine being able to cram a matic. Oh, I think I was going to say cram a matic for boss. Sorry, mate. No, it's not happening. Oh, look at that. GG's, bro. Poggers. Just see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, that is sick. That is hard. 700 damage dealt there. This is what this deck's like. It's like poke or one turn. You just get a massive one-hit KO, which can just ruin absolutely anything that you're coming up against, regardless of what it's trying to do. It's just like, right, see you later. Bye-bye. Get out of here. <laughs> so I managed to take down Shadow Rider quite comfortably, which is nice, although that does favor us because they draw a lot of cards. So I want to see what it's like against a deck that has a bit more control. You know, like a Dragapult. Dragapult, they, they can comfortably play their cards down. Um, so I want to see. I want to see. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. So what I was saying before was I grinded the list with my Dragapult list. Grinded the ladder with my Dragapult list. Also, bro, on the ladder, excuse me, it's th it's free Crobats, bro. You get, you get two Crobats for free? having a laugh mate of course i'm grinding the ladder you get fusion strike mate this is a great ladder for people getting into the Ooh, 150 for people getting into the game like bro look at that crowbat fusion strike i don't know what the full art is i don't think it's anything good if i'm correct oh leon yeah nothing crazy but mate you can get yourself a nice nice good amount of packs and also crowbats if there's a time to play the ladder it's now mate like if you don't have crowbats crowbats pretty good right it's it's used in a lot of decks um Definitely grind the ladder. But yeah, I was grinding the ladder with Dragapult to just up the elo again, come up against uh, higher tier decks. And it's worked. So that's really nice. That's really, really nice. I think I had to win like nine, 10 games in a row or something like that just to get there again. <laughs> oh God. At least it was testament to my, my play. At least I know I can win <laughs> if I try. Difference is in videos, I'm always trying to make sure the video is entertaining as well as playing good. That's a lot harder than it looks, bro. <laughs> I was, like, when I first started doing this, shocked about how hard that actually is to manage. Um, like, in the, in what was, what was the last video I did? Was it the Deoxys deck, was it? I think where they, they like, Elder Ghost, and someone pointed out in the comments, they Elder Ghost for... A boss and I, I didn't even notice that I thought they just got it off the top of their hand turns out no I could cram here I could cram but for what this is actually okay I could cram for another Chandelure we're playing what looks to be or at least what I thought was Marnie Urshifu or Rapid Marnie but I, I don't think it is do I use my cram so like religiously are they going to get care on the Volpix? The Volpix isn't so important. It's a nice little handy thing to have. So I'm or something, or something. No, no, no. Okay. No, I think we just... I think we just pass. Yeah. Yeah. These crams, are, they, do you know what? I am liking them. I am liking them. Like, if your deck plays four Crushing Hammers, try out four of these, mate. See what happens. Like, just being able to get the cards you want is pretty crazy. Right, so they're going to hit into us pretty dangerously here. 150. That's pretty scary. I can eloy. A judge. Okay, this is where you don't want to play judge. You want to play judge late game where, you know, you're just trying to force them to have some trainers in hand. But you don't want an early game like this. It's bad. It is bad. Oh, they're coming in hot, bro. Absolute fire. Blaziken. Okay, so this is just your standard rapid strike archetype. Let you see on the ladder. All right. They're gonna, oh God. We are in real, real, real danger of a GMAX Rapid Flow for game. Okay, now we're not. We best hope, we best hope. Judge, give me some love, come on. Don't give me a red card. Okay. That's kind of big, you know. Heads on the crushing. Oh, come on. Look at that, it's gorgeous. I know they can retreat it, I know, I know. But preventing a G-Max Rapid Flow, big deal. And we've just managed to do that. So I'm a happy bunny. Okay. Hopefully, they've got... Well, even to be fair, if they have four in hand, we're still not one-shotting. But we're definitely getting close. So hopefully, that's some good... 
mm, two. Okay, 140. Wait, what? I swear I saw another. Guys, am I bugging? I swear I'm bugging. Am I am I bugging? <laughs> I'm bugging, bro. What's happening? We need another chandelier down, don't we? I really do. Come on. They can retreat, attack. For another 150 and not enough to KO me still. I'd love, I'd really love to get like a cram. Boss's orders. That'd be so cool. Alright, we're going to be losing this. I need to bench. I have to bench a, uh, a chandelier this turn. And I don't have much options to work with here. So we're going to Marnie. Yeah, go for it. Marnie's big for this, I think. If only N was around her. N would make it so different. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can shut them down a little bit again. We can't. Okay. Definitely tested our luck. It's a bit awkward, but I'm going to capture to the crowbat and get a chandelier V down. Let's do that. All right. Show me what you got. So that's one trainer. Oh, the energy doesn't count as trainer, does it? No, no, no. That's what I probably got confused with. So that's 140. Again, just poke. We're not hitting the luck. We're not hitting it. Unfortunately. Shrap, keep moving. Keep moving. They're definitely getting a KO on us this turn. They don't even need to retreat. They can just attack. Interesting choice. I do say so myself. Although they get the four prizes, they could have just literally just hit 30 and then G-Rax, like, rapid flow next turn, but I'm guessing they didn't want to take the risk. All right, it's a shame because a right hand now would be a big, big, big deal and I just don't see me top decking it. I really don't. And to be fair, I don't even think it would be enough. No, it won't be enough, will it? It won't be. Okay. We got research. I'm not money, and their hand's pretty big, and that's good for us. So, all right. Oh, farewell, Bell. Why didn't you happen earlier? Okay, we'll evolve into you. We'll actually evolve into the Volpix. Make it a bit harder for them. Well, no, they can still get the KO, but you know what I mean. Uh, we we'll do that, I guess. I don't like leaving the Crobat in the active. It's weak to fighting, bro. Do you think that's no? That's you got to be daft. You got to be daft if you think I'm doing that. Probably retreat to the Nine Tails. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll pass. It's a bit yikesy out here, mate. It is. It is a bit yikesy. But if we can come in with two, like, big hits for game, it just shows what this deck is. <laughs> Let's see what they do. The best play is Escape Probe. If they play Escape Probe, busted. No. Okay. Right. Okay. Now we're talking. Although they literally need to take one prize for game, I'm aware. We, we can still win. <laughs> Which is the maddest thing. It's the craziest thing. Do we even attack? We don't even need to attach that. It's just... Let's just research. Give me the energy, please. I need energy. Okay, we've got the energy. Big boy stuff here. Big boy stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Play the fire. They might have fan of waves. And I think we just smack into this. We need, like, really badly, we need to... Get ourselves a crowbat. I shouldn't have done that now. I should have done that because they're just going to Marnie now. Yeah, that was a bad play. All right. Max Pulse, guys. You've got to have a KO here, mate, if there's any. Only three trainers. I don't think that's enough. Oh, no. A hand that big. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh, he's thinning. He's thinning the hand out. Yeah, of course. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Ah, oh, that's just a shame. Just not hitting the numbers we wanted to hit. But this is Chandelure for you. You can have a massive just smack win game. Or you have this. <laughs> it's just one of them ones, bro. It's just one of them ones. Maybe I should have benched the Chandelure. Oh, God. I'm not thinking right. No, we will. We'll, we'll. It doesn't matter, does it? Let's just thin the deck down. Maybe I should attach to the Crobat to allow me to do a little escape rope treat, but... Do you know what? There's still a chance here. No, they've played. They've completely played their hand down, haven't they? I think they've completely played their hand down. I don't think we're hitting any, any sort of damage here. Mm. 
don't think we're hitting anything. Oh, we are hitting. Oh, because of the water. Ah, and an ordinary god. Okay, so that's a KO. It's it's looking sketchy, but <laughs> we might, if we're lucky, scrape a win here. I know they can rapid flow, but they're not hitting any sort of numbers to take it out. They have to attach. No, they can't. They can't. They can't win this turn. So we have to kind of boss his orders and hope we get game that way. On the, on the Urshi, but we need three trainers in hand to make that possible, and I don't think that's happening. I don't think they've got that. So I don't even think that's a real possibility right now. God, it's just so random, isn't it? It's a bit random, bro. Alrighty, I don't think we've got much else we can do really. I can. Get an energy and manually retreat. But they were just rapid flow. So there's really no... No, there's nothing we can really do here. They've got the rapid flow set up. They even have the, the Zebra Aura V good to go. So it just it just isn't happening, unfortunately. All right, well, let's let's try our luck. Let's try our luck. We'll thin. We'll thin. We'll play you. And we'll cancel you. We can actually go for the escape rope, manually retreat. You know? Ah, screw it. It thins, doesn't it? It does thin. It does thin. Knowing them, they'll probably promote the the Zero Aura. Because it gives him free retreat. It's not probably going to... Yeah, probably not going to get KO'd. Okay. I don't think we have any bosses orders left, to be fair. Let's see. What, let's see. If we hit a Krammy... We don't even hit a Krammy. Right. We can actually... <laughs> Get very close. We can Marnie them, but it is just one turn too late, unfortunately. So even if they top deck all of the trainers, it is just one turn too late. It is, unfortunately. We don't even get the other Chandelure. It's in discard pile. So even if we had a fresh Chandelure, the rapid flow would just tear it down. There was a way to, for it to work. If we hit the Chandelure VMAX... And got a, like, a crushing hammer or something like that. A couple of them down. Then we could have still been in the running. But we're not. We're not. As we said, smart player would just rapid flow. Can they rapid flow? They can. So that's going to be game. Let's see if we get the KO anyway. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Funnily enough, although it was so awkward. Oh, we didn't even hit any damage. Oof. Oof. Jesus, what a gamble this deck is. Bloody hell. Damn. Although it was awkward, as I said, it's was still kind of close, which is interesting. You know? That's, that is very interesting. Oh, yeah, just give me a crammy. Why not? <laughs> that was interesting with how close it actually was. Um, although, you know, well, I guess that's, that's, that's that, isn't it? All right, we'll look at the, we'll look at the list anyway. And show you what I've got rolling here. So this is the, the archetype I have now. The list, sorry, that I have now. There's a lot of things that you could really do with it, to be honest. It might even operate better under a uh, um, an Inteleon engine, to be fair. But I want to do something a bit different. And this is what I've come up with. I do like the list. And I think it can do some dirt, as you saw. But, you know, if you want something a bit more consistent, I love the crams. But you can get rid of them, get rid of the crushing hours, and try something a bit more consistent. However... I quite like this. I think it's I think it's fun. And when you hit those heads, bro, you can do some mad stuff. <laughs> Absolutely mad stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Of course, do leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy, as always. But most importantly, take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.